His specialty, my specialty is telekinesis, uh, which when you find out more about um, um, my past, you can see where the, you, you see the origins of his breakout and how that is the, the, the power that comes to the fore. And I also think in the construction of where we've discovered, like the construction of the character and the, what we've discovered about him as, as we've gone along, he's very much a, 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 a tactile, physical, um, less, uh, less like rain quotient and more just like, um, you know, I think if I was, uh, 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 I was describing him um, to the writers, I was like, uh, I feel like he's like the id of the group doesn't think, you know, acts first, thinks later, which actually is the thing that kind of gets him into trouble. So, it all kind of fits along with like, you know, like, like, telekinesis being the physical expression of the mind, and he's very much like, about grabbing things, and pushing things, and punching things, and all that sort of thing. But, um, but initially, uh, Russell is very wary of the, of the new kid. Um, but very quick, I think it's not, it doesn't take that long for them to warm to each other because, because first Steven kind of proves his, 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 you know, usefulness, his metal very, very quickly. Um, and I think over the course of the pilot, uh, especially you see, um, you see Russell going from maybe like a stance of like, you know, Standoffishness or, 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 or wariness to to something more along uh, along the beginnings of friendship, and then as as the episodes go along, they become better friends. But like becoming better friends with Russell means that he pulls you into less than like dodgy situations. So so that kind of comes in, come, comes into play later. Um, I think. Um, I'm less impressed with the abilities than um, because all of our abilities they're like they're like um, they're like muscles and stuff like that, right? Some people can run faster, some people can jump higher, some people can 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 are stronger, can lift heavier weights or whatever. Which is I'm describing myself right now. <laughs> in all now, um, and and so so that's almost more normal. But what's really abnormal about Steven is his attitude because we've been, we've hidden ourselves underground for, for quite a long time. And um, I was actually shooting, I was doing, I had to fly back to New York to do reshoots in, in, in the subway um, recently. And we were in the subway for like eight hours and I started, we all started losing our minds. And I realized, I was like, oh my god, if you had to live, if you were stuck in a subway tunnel station for even a week, you would start to go crazy. Like, and, and, and so, and we, the Tomorrow People, we've been hiding down there for at least a couple of years from Ultra. So there's, there's more to Steven than just he, he being possibly the strongest of our species. He's also the person that's like, wait a minute, why do we have to accept the status quo? And it's actually that more than, than, than the powers that really kind of gets, not just Russell, but maybe a few of, uh, uh, of the rest of us on, on like kind of really starting to respect him because, because we, you know, Steven is, is Steven, Steven by nature doesn't accept things that, that, that the way that they are. And, uh, and that's just more, that's really kind of a breath, a breath, a breath of fresh air for, for Russell and By the time you get to where we're shooting now, like eight, nine episodes in, ten episodes in, you're gonna feel like you know these characters really, really well. Not just their personalities, but like some of their like deep, dark secrets. Is there an episode, though, that is like a flashback to your breakout? Yes, there is an episode there that is a flashback to my breakout. Not, I'm not sure what I am or am not allowed to say about that, but um, it's fairly early on, um, and it was really fun uh, to, it's a really fun thing as an actor to be able to play 
a whole range of like like to to span a, a character from you know just over over maybe a, the course of a decade or, or however many years it was eight years ten years I, it's a little somewhere in that range. Uh, might we uh, might we see any of Russell's family at that point in the flashback? Don't know if I'm allowed to tell you that. <laughs> um. <coughs> I will say, Russell. You see Russell as a as a as a very different person than than the than, than the person he is today. So, and you see where he's very much um, uh, uh, a bon vivant, and it comes from him having a lot of pain in his past. So it's, there's almost like a, a, like a drive to, to, to be the person that he is because he he's either fighting or running away from something that's ha- the, from, from his past. Always been, there's, there's sort of a, a brother-sister connection between ro- the, the brother between Russell and Kara, um, they they'll at times finish finish each other's sentences. They're almost always like of a similar. Uh, they have they they are always pushing for a kind of a similar idea and direction. Whereas with Russell's at a, at a lot of times at odds with with um, with John because John's kind of like the responsible we have to do what we have to do and Russell's just kind of like you know stopping the fun things guy um, but you also do get what, what I thought what I think is really lovely is that Luke and I from the beginning I don't know how much of that was written in uh, to start with but we found that in the pilot where we had this kind of like um, sort of brotherly rivalry where we kind of like kind of gave it to each other a little bit, like, wherever we could, and then that actually found a lot of fruition over the course of a bunch of episodes, and you actually see that that relationship really grow and, and play out. I always like to think of it as kind of like a, a Wolverine-Cyclops kind of relationship, you know, um, and uh, obviously I would be Wolverine. <laughs> and... Um, uh, yeah, but yet you know, even though that there's a there's they're they're just antagonistic personalities, there is a lot of love there. So you can, you really get to see that um, um, come to the fore. My own martial arts background. They they um, Jeff R our fight uh, coordinator, and, um, and 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 Phil and Greg are really important with this, um, and Danny that to make me like. Again, this plays into the whole like physicality of the character that that Russell <coughs> is the most technically astute fighter of the group, you know. So so I get to do a lot. Of, I slash my stunt double uh, gets to do a lot of really dope things, um, some really crazy cool things.